Here we are today, we're going to be talking cast iron, one of my favorite things to cook on. Probably is the favorite thing I cook on. You know, when we're out teaching classes and I'm talking to a lot of people about cast iron, you know, they get really intimidated by it. They're really intimidated. You know, it's hard to clean, it's hard to care for. Um, you know, it's just, it's just, I've heard all these stories, you got to, you know, do all these special things for it. You know, cast iron is actually one of the easiest things to clean. And we're going to talk about that. Let's dive into cleaning this bad boy. We actually purposely burn a bunch of stuff on this earlier today so we can give you a little demonstration of how to clean it. So this was uh, some bacon, we had some tri-tip steaks cooking in here. We've got all the bits and pieces. So what do we want to do? How do we keep clean this up? Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use something with a wide scraper, right? I want something that's wide that's not going to dig into that seasoning. One of the things that you don't want to use is like a stainless steel scrubber. These little plastic scrapers work awesome as well. I mean, you can throw those, have a bunch of those sitting around. You can just scrape around. It's got a beveled edge to get in the corners. These things are fantastic. Another one of my favorite methods is a chain mill scrubber. So this is a scrubber that you can use. This is really going to get that, you know, really stuck on stuff off for you. So you just go ahead and lay that on there circular motion, pull that all up, make sure you get the sides. But what if you have something that's super stuck on and really, really stubborn? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pour it over here. Now there's two different ways you can do this. Um, and we're going to actually gonna use water. We're going to help steam that off. Now your water and your pan need to be pretty close to the same temperature or else you can, can crack your cast iron. So if I'm going to start from a cold pan or a room temperature pan, I'm going to use room temperature water. We'll just put that in. All right, so most of the time, I can just go ahead and take a rag, wipe that out, a little bit of a scraper, and I'm good to go. Uh, that really stuck on stubborn stuff, you may need to you know, do the boiling method, but not very often. All right, so we've let that boil for uh, just you know, five, 10 minutes. Everything's got loosed up. You can take a paper towel or a microfiber rag and just kind of wipe that up. Okay, another great method that you can use, um, especially if you're out in the field and you know you just don't have your cast iron cleaner, you just don't, you know, this is not stuff available. A little kosher salt. Throw a little kosher salt in your pan. If I have a really bad pan, it's really sticky, I'll just go ahead and put that kosher salt on there. Go ahead and swirl it around get it stuck on everything and I'll actually let it sit for about an hour. After that hour's about up, I'll take my rag and that salt's just going to pick all those bits and pieces and oils out of there. It's going to pull all the moisture out of your pores. Swirl that around, dump it, and you're ready to go. A couple of awesome things that Camp Chef has come out with to make our lives easier. So this is a citrus based cleaner. You can just go ahead and put some of that cleaner in there. For this, I don't want to get the paper towel fibers in there. So I'm going to use a microfiber towel. And this is still just a little bit on the warm side. The great thing the Camp Chef has is this cast iron conditioner. So all you do with that is just put it on there. Take your rag. Now this is formulated to last longer. Now if you just put any kind of oil in there, your oil is going to go rancid after a certain amount of time. Now this conditioner is going to last a lot longer for you. It does just a fantastic job of seasoning that cast iron for you. All right guys, now we got to start jumping into the seasoning. We've got to get this seasoned. So the way we want to season it, throw a little bit of our conditioner in there. Nice thin coat all the way around into your oven for about 450 to 500. And I highly recommend even a pellet grill. The pellet grill that smokes gonna help season your cast iron as well. Uh, put it upside down, let it roll in there for about an hour to hour and a half. If you find it that's still a little bit too sticky, either you got your oil too thick or it hasn't gone long enough. Um, but you wanna do that about three times and that'll give you a nice good seasoning back. Start rolling again and you're ready to cook. Hey, thanks for watching our cast iron 101. Don't be afraid to use cast iron. Cast iron is awesome to use. It's gonna, cast iron is gonna last your lifetime and your kid's lifetime. It's an awesome piece of equipment. Keep it simple, keep it easy, 
do what works for you and enjoy cooking on cast iron.